Like I'm saying, yeah, he freed the slaves there in Washington, D.C. in April of 1861. All right. All right. That's just, again, same month. I think it's April 20th, actually. So that's shit. That's around the same day the celebration was had, had with uh, uh, Rock, Robert Anderson and whatnot. But my phone going to cut off soon. I'm losing memory. So I'm going to keep this going. So how could you free the, free the slaves in Washington, D.C.? And I'm sure there's a story that leads up to it as well. But you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't sustain uh, David Hunter's uh, order, order number 11 for South Carolina, for example. Actually, not just South Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia and Florida. None of those states are a part of that four. That didn't make sense to me. You get what I'm saying? To me, that also explains and helps validate the fact he was not fighting the war to free slaves. Again, I'm not saying that he wanted black people in slavery. That was just not his aim for fighting the war. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to keep it moving. Okay, so Lincoln signed that order. Uh, the regiment was reestablished. Later on, the 2nd South Carolina Regiment, like I said before, it was just like the Louisiana Native Guards. You know, you got more people enlisting. Later on, they end up turning to the 33rd uh, Color Regiment or whatnot. Uh, so that happened. Uh, after that, uh, he worked for the Navy as a civilian, as far as Robert Smalls, up until 1863. Then after that, he because he he ended because he gained you know pensions as well. After that, that's when he left. He went back to Beaumont. Uh, he purchased the house he used to live at on Five Eleven Street. Uh, Five Eleven. I forget the name of the street. Something Street out there in, in Beaufort, uh, uh, South Carolina. Uh, the slave master Henry McKee tried to fight for the house. He ended up fighting. He, I mean, failing. He lost in court against him, but. Robert Smalls, I guess the relationship was still decent. He ended up allowing his wife, uh, Jones McKee, to live with him. He also allowed his mother, of course, to stay with him. Uh, then later on, um, he met a guy named Richard Richard Glebes. Uh, I think he was a lawyer. No, he was a businessman from Philadelphia. They, he ended up uh, they ended up building a store together. Just before that, he also bought a building as far as Robert Smalls. Uh, a, a, a Beaumont building, as they call, it, but he just basically had it built, or 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 uh, he used it to educate African American uh, children. That's a whole different, separate, complex history too, as far as these school systems. Same thing with Wil Wilbur Force uh, University, but I, I'm gonna leave that alone because we're running out of time. So that happened. <clears throat> okay, so later on, this is when he delved into politics, getting closer to the um, Reconstruction era. So I'm gonna skip a lot of stuff on purpose because I am gonna just go ahead and mention him. On the third chapter of Legends and Lies, I'm going to flesh out even more as far as like those battles he's been into because uh, he did, you know, end up fighting in a civil war. And based on his own account, this is the exact words I read. He was a part. He was present at 17 different battles. But but again, uh, that's not just the only notable thing about him to me. But because that those years are relevant for chapter three, I'm going to savor that in particular because it's a lot of stuff I want to bring up. I don't have time to bring it up right here. My phone keep cutting off in 10 minutes. And I got like a few megabytes left. So anyway, uh, so that happened. So he ended up getting elected to office in 1668, uh, two years after the, the, the 14th Amendment Act that allowed African-Americans to have um, to, to be accepted as citizens, etc. So he was elected to the House of Representatives. That's also very um, uh, notable, uh, applaudable, laudable. Uh, then two years after that, another guy who's also a dark skinned guy, not to make it a racial, th racial thing, but hey, perspective is perspective. This is another dark skinned guy. His name is uh, Jonathan Jasper Wright. He was the senator of South Carolina. Uh, he ended up getting elected to the Supreme Court in 1870. So he gave that seat to Robert Smalls. Before this, Robert Smalls, even though he was he was referred to as an intelligent as intelligent. He was illiterate at first. 